cool. I don't know what I'm saying. G'day, my name's Walters. G'day, my name's Steve Walters and here's another edition of the Contractor's Guide to Rural Fencing. And I've got the nice high-vis shirt on. We're working um, on a construction site and we're putting up a security fence. So, uh, chain wire fence. Um, we're going around this, this site, um, but I want to talk through how we do it and let you know it's very similar to rural fencing. For this job, we're using 100 MB medium wall posts for the gateways. Um, 40 NB medium wall for the line posts and 80 NB medium wall for the corner posts. Gateways and corners are a bit over a meter in, about 1.2 is the hole that we dig. The line posts are 800 mil in, normally it only goes 600 but on this job they specified they wanted them in 800. You can see what we've done, we've um, set some a line, so exactly the same principle if we're doing a rural fence except instead of anchoring the line to the strainer posts, which we do on a rural fence, we have to use our an offset star post. In this corner, for example, we've got two star posts. We've set each line separately so that we can set the line, then we can mark the holes at three meter centers, then we can move the wire away, dig all our holes, clean them out, then we restrain the wire so we know we're in exactly the same line, and then we use that wire wire and offset probably about 25 30 mil and that'll give us a nice straight line all the way down so we're using our sight wire to also give us the height of our posts so if you see this obviously we can't look over the top of the post like we would on a rural fence so what we've done on each of these there's a little we make a texture mark which is our ground level you can see that one was right in the concrete this mark is actually you know a good 75 mil out of the concrete but it follows the wire so what we do is we set this wire up to give us our line to flow and you can see it's automatically uh, counted for this hollow here. We've got a high point back there where the wire's on the ground and then the wire's on the ground here. So it just allows to give us that nice flow. As you can see down the line, it flows through that um, without all the ups and downs and without having to use a ladder. So we can use that bottom mark to get the line spot on. What we'll show you now is some footage we shot earlier. The concrete truck actually beat us before we could get some filming done this morning. And we've got some footage of us using the Vermeer and the kibble to actually put the concrete in the holes and stand the posts. Yeah, what are we up to today? Yeah, you know, doing a bit of security fencing. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs>
Okay, so here's the spot that we're going to concrete shortly. Um, we've got all the posts lined out, the holes are dug, we've got our sight wire set and we're just uh, waiting for the concrete truck. So you can see the corner here where the lines cross over is where the the corner post will sit snug against those lines and then we'll offset all our line posts off the wire as we normally do in a fence line. What we have to do now though is we're going to grab another couple of star posts and we'll put them in, tie that line wire to it so it doesn't move when we put concrete in the holes. My name's Steve Walters and this is the Rural Contractor's Guide to Contracting. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> my name's Steve Walters, nearly forgot my own name. <laughs> How do we stop this startup so much? Because <laughs> I've got so many things I want to talk about. And like, ah. So for this job we're using 100 MP posts 